I've got audio for the game in my ears. We're good to go. We are now fully good to go. Okay. I will warn you at some point we'll probably go on an ad break just so I can get some more caffeine in me because for some reason my body was like, yeah, you're not going to sleep tonight. So that was fun. And I've also got to do some commentary after this is over. I got done doing commentary before I started this stream. My voice is going to be so shot. It's going to be great. With that, let's jump into it. If you remember, we, uh, we're working with this man right here, Maximilian Galactica, who sounds a lot like Pegasus, which is the voice I gave him. I literally didn't remember what the voice was exactly, so I had to watch the last episode of this to figure it out. Actually, I had to do that mainly for a lot of people. So, good to go, we're all set, let's talk to Maximilian, oh yeah, we have to unlock that. Do we have anything to figure it out yet? Okay, there was nothing there. Jan, welcome to the stream, man. I'm just trying to remember what we have now. Alright. Didn't actually even know that was gonna work. Gotta, I've gotta make sure of one thing here before we continue. There we go. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Can I ask what you do with such an exorbitant salary? Exorbitant salary. We've already covered this part. I'm paying off my father's debt. How can he possibly have such a large amount of debt? Oh, and for those of you who are new here, uh, and have come in through the Pokemon streams and haven't seen this yet, uh, you're gonna hear a lot of voice acting. And shitty voice acting of that coming out of me. Just because it's more fun that way, in my opinion. For example, say you rented a video. And perhaps you forgot about it for, say, a short period of about 10 years. You would have the biggest late fee known to man. It's kind of like that. Wow! Now I can see... Now I can see how you can get that much debt. That makes sense now. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. Alright. Can I unlock anything? That is the question at hand. Last night you met with the ringmaster, correct? To negotiate your salary and such. Exactly. We reached an agreement about the salary for my six month old contract. That's the truth? The whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, God? What do you mean? You just went to his office to negotiate your new salary. I hate lies, and I hate liars even more. What are you insinuating? Do you have any proof that I did something other than negotiate my fee last night? That's... It was on the table in the ringmaster's room. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise. 
Is there a problem with being well compensated? Not with the compensation. Just with the date. This is dated a week ago. Oh, we got him sweating. Max! You finished your contract negotiations a week ago. Fab. Fab. Fabulous. All right. I'll tell you the truth. That night, the ringmaster called me to his room. He called you? Why did he do that? Sorry, sweetie. That's private. The ringmaster called him. I wonder if there was some sort of problem. Um, Max, perhaps you could share with me what you two spoke about? Well, not if I don't have to. Isn't this why the ringmaster called you into his room that night? Uh, I don't think we actually have whatever we needed. Or at least... Like, we went over why he got called in. I just want to, this is the only thing I want to test, because it's the only thing that makes sense. Outside of, you know, the, uh, the contract. God, this is going to take a lot off my meter if I'm wrong. Oh, I don't think I have enough evidence yet. Should I investigate and gather some more clues? I think I might have that one, but. I just wanted to save, but I guess I can't save. Alright. Let's, uh, let's move along here, Maximilian. I want to see if I'm right on this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, right, well, now, Max is into Regina. Regina is the daughter of the ringmaster. So, maybe he was talking to him about that. Don't look at me like that. This isn't easy for me, you know. How about it, Max? How about what? What do you expect me to do with this? Let me guess, you're showing me that so I can make it disappear for you, right? No, 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 no. Please don't make it disappear. Hmm. I gotta try again. Is it this? It was that. Damn it, I almost did that first, but I didn't think that was good. I thought that might be the last thing we had to talk to him about. Damn it, second guess myself. Isn't this why you were called to the ringmaster's room that night? Where did you get that? The cafeteria. But you already knew that. Didn't you? Of, of course? Yes. It fell and broke on the floor. He's still hiding something else. Max? What is it, my sweetie? God, he, he help is zero help. See, I, I don't rely on... I never have relied on any help from them. I 
this is is Ben because he's been messing with Ben and I think he used that to mess with Ben if I remember correctly. Your boy remembers some shit. I only skim through just to remember my voices. Fuck yeah. Big brain. Big brain. B ben. You nailed him over the head with this bottle, didn't you? I love the puppet. My gamer updated the other day and... Ever since slow sim games crashed, so I messaged them and they gave me patch notes from November 17th on a previous version. Well, that really doesn't help you much. Really doesn't. And that's why you got called to the ringmaster's room that night. F fabulous! You might as well be a magician of the darkest kind. Now tell me the shit, Max. Spill this tea. The truth is, yesterday morning during breakfast, we had a run-in. You mean he had a fight with Ben the Ventriloquist? You could put it that way. Why don't you fight with him? Ben seems like such a quiet man. We fought about my sweetie pie. You mean Regina? That ill-bred creep told my sweetie pie princess that he was in love with her. Would you put up with that? I mean, my boy Phoenix. He, he's got a ghost? So he really doesn't have to deal with that. Also, he might, like, his opposing pros the prosecutor might also be into him. We're not sure yet. That's a very iffy situation. It could go either way right now. Ilbred? Are you talking about the same, same Ben? Told her he was in love with her. Are you sure this is Ben we are talking about? All I can say is... That he made me mad and I had to tap him on his hard head. That's when the ringmaster called me and I realized that it was my chance. Your chance? That's when I went to his room and I laid it all out on the table. I asked him to let me marry my sweetie pie. You know what? Max, you may be weird. You may use a fake magician voice instead of using your country bumpkin voice. But I respect that he at least asked the father for the daughter's hand in marriage. You know what? Respect. Respect to Maximilian. Respect. He deserves that much. What? The ringmaster told me that it sounds good to me. That's why my sweetie pie is my sweetie pie, and no one else's. Hmm. I see. Since Ben was causing me so much trouble, I realized I had to shut him up. Shut him up? Um, what do you mean by shut him up? Oh. Ah. Uh, that was. Whew. Alright. You don't know, do you, my sweeties? Trilo can't say a word. Not without Ben. Trilo? The puppet. The ventriloquist puppet. His real name is Trilo Quist. Trilo Quist. Is it Trilo Quist? It's Trilo Quist. Not Trilo Quist. Trilo Quist. Clever. Ben Clever name. Not Trilo. 
Steelers looked weak as hell last night. Yeah, they did not look good for a team that was facing off against a very, very uh, undermanned Ravens team. But divisional football, for some reason, you always play your division rivals tough. But a puppet doesn't talk. I know, that's why I hid it. Before the police came and took me away, of course. If that puppet started flapping off at the balsa, I'd be screwed. You hit him? You mean the ventriloquist puppet? You are so smart, sweetie. Um, where did you hide him? What? Sweetie, you aren't thinking of trying to add him to my defense, are you? Well, Ben does seem awfully lonely without his puppet. Fabulous. That should have taught him a lesson. Okay, I hid Trillo in the ringmaster's room. You don't mind going there and getting Trillo for me, do you, my sweets? We'll get Trillo, Quist. No problem! No, at all! Thank you, Max! You know I can't stand to see my sweeties in a jam. And don't go hiding Puppets! Don't go hiding puppets. Got it? Good. Hey Ben, we know where your puppet is. Huh! Ben's not here anymore! Yeah, wanted to ask him something. Phoenix, it's cold outside. He's probably in the tent. Plot twist. Ben's dead. Given this game, I wouldn't be shocked. What do you think, Nick? I wonder if we've been making any progress. Don't be so negative. Of course we are making progress. <coughs> God, my voice is going to be so shot after today. You guys might not even hear me do commentary tomorrow. It might just be my webcam and then music playing as we go through grinding in the gym tomorrow for the Nuzlocke. God, my voice is going to be so shot. But everyone loved the ringmaster, and there's no sign of footprints on the scene. There's still a lot of mysteries left to be solved. Of course. And now Regina isn't here. I'm not seeing how that's related. It looks the same as always, like a great big mess. Considering how messy it is, I bet they wouldn't notice if another poster went missing. Will you just stop it, you poster pilferer? That's a, that's a word. I get it. I get it, Phoenix. You won that alliteration. But pilferer is a rough word there. Posters. You mean stole one of those posters? Yeah, uh, let's focus on what Max told us. He said they hid Trillo somewhere in this room. Honestly, the Steelers should have won 32 to 7, but they played down to their opponents. Yeah, they've been doing that all season, though. Trillo. Oh, the ventriloquist puppet. If I were a guy 
I trying to hide a puppet? Where would I hide it? Here. Nick! Look at all the cute trophies! Indeed. Because look at all the awards this circus has won. Like, look! All tiny quiz champions! Ringmasters Association Mini Golf Master! Beer Belly Balloon Bounce Champ! Pet Grooming Grand Prix! Wow! The Ringmaster was multi talented in ways I could have never imagined! Hmm. There's something shoved under the bookshelf. This is. That's Trello! That's Ben's puppy! I think you're right. We'll give it back to him later. Trillo Quest! And an operatic tenor who doubles as Ben Sidekick. Why do I have to carry this thing? Feel like that fits her to carry it. I've been doing that since the Talking Heads brought up 16 now. Uh, hey, we got the puppet. This punk, huh? Trillo is such a wooden, cheeky excuse for a puppet. I can't believe that this thing is what I'm up against for Regina's love. Ah, my sweetie pie. Love only me. What? You're up against what for Regina's love? Whatever. Let's hurry up and give this thing back to Ben. Oh. oh. Okay, we got... Oh, that was kind of pointless. Shit. Hey, gumshoe. As if on cue is the random phone call that I am never going to answer. Talk to you, Mo. Don't need to talk to you. Okay, Captain was in here. <coughs> oh, hey, Ben. Uh, um, uh, 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 hello. Hello to you too. It's awfully cold today, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, d do, indeed. Don't you think it's cold, Nick? I don't see how talking about the weather is helping our case. Yo, Nick, what is up? Guess what? I found you a puppet. Yes, that that's mine. Here you go. Trillo Quest, return to Ben. All right, Maya, let's get going. It's that time, isn't it? See you around, Ben. Uh oh. Uh, okay. So Nick, where are we going next? Let's see. Maybe we should. Oh God! Oh, it's it's the fucking puppet. Ah, oh, the puppet needs a voice. Son of a bitch! I didn't think about that. The puppet needs a voice. Mainly because every time I think about a ventriloquist puppet, outside of like Jeff Dunham and all that, I always think of Scarface from Batman the Animated Series. 
So I'm gonna make him a mob boss. Who said that? What are you looking at? I'm right here, you blind wench. Oh, is he a fucking pirate? What's your problem anyway? Don't you know how to properly grease someone? Ben? Is that you, Ben? No, 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 no. I would never. It was me. Yeah, me. Down here. Don't you neglect me. I know you sees me. You? You're... Trillo? Or Trillo? That's Mr. Quiz to you, sir. Learn some manners before you just blunt out, blurt out my name. Now try speaking to me again. This time, with some proper respect. Not again. <sighs> Mr. Quist? Is that better? No! Look at me when I am talking to you, you 8-bit excuse for an attorney. Trilo, we talked about insulting people. You promised. Guy, he's beating the shit out of Ben. Fucking Trillo's throwing hands. Look at those shots. But he was mocking me. Not being mean, the bullies was not included in the deal. I'm sorry, Trillo. Nick! What just happened? Trillo is still a puppet, right? Hey, who do you think you were calling me a puppet? God damn it. Tell us what you know about the murder. You talking to me? I said, you talking to me? Don't look at him when you talking to me. That's literally just the line from cat from a taxi driver. You talking to me? I said, you talking to me? I don't see anybody else here. So you must be talking to me. Hello, Quiz. You behave, young man. Shut up, Woody. What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? He's totally a New Yorker. Like, he's totally like a mob boss. I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trillo. You can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Bro, this is literally just Batman the Animated Series right now. I fucking love it. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? Get a backbone. Those two are really a nice couple. Aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay. I thought Gramps got. I thought Gramps got clobbered over there. Let me lay it out for you. The pace sucks. The clown sucks, and my button has his hand up my pants. Yeah, I saw. I saw Sting was going to A. I saw Sting went to AEW, but when they took his stuff off a of WWE shop. Who thought he was going anywhere else? Because WWE's not going to take his merch down if he's going to Impact. They're not worried about Impact. Like, they would have kept his merch up if he went to Impact. They took his merch down because he went to AEW. And he don't want to represent anybody from AEW. Like, I wasn't shocked at all. I really just hope to God he doesn't wrestle. If he wrestles one match, I'm going to be terrified. Because I don't want to see a wrestler die. And with the way their matches go... 
Yeah, I, everyone signs a multi-year deal with AEW. If you're a guy on the roster, you sign a multi-year deal, it seems. They're just getting them under contract for long periods. I don't care if he's cleared or not. After a neck injury of all things. I don't want a guy back in the ring. I still get frightened when Daniel Bryan takes bumps. Because I'm just like, please be okay. I hate I hate seeing guys who are one move away from just career ended, life possibly ended. I hate it. I hate watching it. Not to mention, and this, uh, I, people would get so angry at me for saying this, if Sting's going to come back and be Sting, I really don't care. I've seen that Sting. I know what that Sting is. Give me something new. If they do like a revamped version of Joker Sting at some point, I'd be down. Because that Sting was different. But if it's same thing, ooh. so if Edge gets put into a TLC match, you're gonna shit yourself. You, I was worried about him in the Last Man Standing match with Orton. I figured he'd be okay because Orton's extremely safe. But I was scared shitless for that match. Every time Edge takes a bump, I get scared. I mean, that's everybody. Every time Edge takes a bump and it's on his neck, I'm just like, that, that's, that's the end of his career right there. We just saw his career end again. I hate it. I hate knowing that guys are that close to just career or worse ending. So, I hate it. At least with Brian, he changed up his style. So, he wrestles a much safer style now. Yeah. That creepy old guy who never finds it himself to leave me alone. Get on the back off for me, what, will ya? He's just another one of the dorks around here. Oh. My. But I'll be fair. This cesspool of human garbage masquerading as performers. I found my Madonna. Bro, this dude is the most, like, mafia boss. It's totally just Scarface. I love it. You're Madonna? Regina. My lovely Regina. She is stunning. Right, Ben? You know. Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of true beauty. Hence why I shall marry her. Ma 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 marry? The ringmaster got knocked upside his cheap head by a flying frog. You mean Max Galactica? Why do you say that? Trilo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up? I made a ward. Besides, you were, besides, you were there. You know what happened. You were there? <laughs> if you're that interested, I'll let you in on the facts. We all get the Facts. This dynamic would be a Vince made gimmick. Actually, well, this dynamic was a thing. If you go back and watch the greatest superhero cartoon ever, Batman the Animated Series, you had, uh, I forget the ventriloquist that controlled him, but you had Scarface the puppet who was controlled by this nerdy ventriloquist. And Scarface was a mafia boss and he was just this puppet that could use a tommy gun and it it it's one of the weirdest and kind of most frightening 
characters in all of Batman because it's literally this dude who has a second personality, a ventriloquist with this split personality disorder essentially, and he's terrified of that second personality. Yeah, it's great. I love it. You, you're going to marry Regina? Yes, right. She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits it, does she? Sad ventriloquist never made it into the Arkham games. He, he wouldn't have fit with what they were doing with the Arkham games. I don't think Scarface would have fit very well. Maybe Arkham City, he could have fit well. Arkham Asylum would not have been a good spot for him. Everybody got referenced in the Arkham games. Everybody did. I think I'm beginning to see why she seems troubled. Well, she... I don't care. It is my choice, not hers. We're getting hitched. We're getting hitched. Calendar Man got an appearance in the city. That's because Calendar Man's under fucking rated. Nobody gives him the love he deserves. <laughs> Although I will say this, in all seriousness, the most underrated Batman villain of all time, Mad Hatter. Tetch is so underrated. He's so good. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift. I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. I'll be happy to know that. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grace you with one of my songs. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Oh, Lord, what tune would this be in? It's a song, so I fucking gotta sing it. Okay, how, how how am I doing this? How am I going to sing like this? I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to... The rest is private. You know. You know why. You know why the rest is private. Wow, 911. <laughs> we got a creepy ass puppet here. Well, um, the melody is pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. The artist formerly known. As Shinsuke, not no, never mind, wrong guy. The artist, formerly known as Pre and no, still the wrong guy. The artist, formerly known as Trilo Quiz. Yeah. Um. Uh. Thanks. Now that Trilo's here. Now that Trilo's here. Does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, butt face. Actually, let me rephrase that because he would totally say it differently. Hey, ass face. Ah! You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh, you know. Time to get rid of that pesky magician once and for all. Tri Trilo? Enough jibber jabber. Let's get the court already. Bruh, 
the puppet wants to get to court as soon as possible. A fu We're gonna get to fucking, fucking cross-examine a dummy. I love this game. My three most underrated Batman villains is Hush, Prometheus, Professor Pig. Okay, one, I don't believe Hush is underrated. Everyone loves Hush. Hush is amazing. Prometheus, I give it to you, underrated. Uh, Professor Pig, though, so underrated. He is so fucking creepy, too, and I love it. The Doll Maker, also extremely underrated. Most of Batman's villains, extremely underrated. And let's not forget the the most important Condiment King. There's nobody better than Condiment King. Ah, hey, wait a second, Nick, what's going on? Vain Joker, Penguin, or Riddler? They are underrated. Yeah, essentially. Essentially, even Ivy, I feel, is a little underrated. I think Ivy doesn't get the, doesn't get really what she deserves. He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ah. You're a fucking puppet, man. Puppet. What in the world happened with Finn and Trello? What a pair of those two. What? What the fuck was that? It's a fucking mon- Are we gonna get to cross-examine a monkey? I want to cross-examine a monkey in this trial. Oh no. Now what? <laughs> ah, yeah, ah. I'm pretty sure Phoenix just got beat up by a monkey. Hey! Welcome back, Nick! Uh, that. that monkey. His name is Wheeler Phoenix, and he is a dueling monkey. I'll let you know. Ah! My badge! That monkey stole it! What? <laughs> hey! Mr. Tony, that face was so cute. I totally hit it. You look so completely dumbfounded. Regina? You! That monkey! Hey! No need to get angry, okay? But, but, but! My attorney's badge! Don't worry. I'll help you out. Okay. If you say so. If I don't get my badge back, how can I flash it? Phoenix, my boy, I love you. I love you to the deepest of my heart. But that's what you're fucking worried about? Is being able to flash your badge at people? Not the fact that you need that to say, hey, I'm an attorney? By the way, the monkey's name is Money. Money the Monkey. His name is Monkey M Money. The monkey is called Money. The monkey is the killer. 
At this point, maybe. He just he just assaulted Phoenix. We have some evidence this thing can get aggressive. Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. See what they did there. Uh. Whenever money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. <laughs> that's pretty fun. Well, guess I'll just have to find out where money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. Huh? You don't know? Well, money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need taming. Oh, I see. Go to Moe's. Hmm. I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. The gene is your number one suspect, but the monkey is 100% my number two. Put my money on money. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean that guy that is always hanging around with Trillo? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo told me that he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart. And he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. Yeah, I saw Bud Dupree uh, tour his ACL. I saw that. But what about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trilo. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. That was a, uh, I do believe that was an As the World Turns reference. I do believe that that was an As the World Turns reference. Either that or a Days of Our Lives reference. One of the two. That was totally a soap opera reference. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope. That won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it? Nick? Yeah. Max and Trullo both said otherwise. Said they asked for your hand in marriage. Ah! But Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. Forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand, but not Regina directly. So I guess Trillo hadn't asked her directly yet. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trillo? Got some girl girl talk right now. Wait. Wait. You do realize that Trillo is a puppet. Uh, what? Like, I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Go 
Don't do it. Don't do it. He's stiff in more than one way, I bet. Oh! I had to do it. I had to do it. It was, it was staring me in the face. That, that deserved a phrasing right there. But I had to do it. I had to do it. Oh boy. Well, Gumshoe, where you at, man? Huh? Detective Gumshoe took off already! Yeah. Probably because we ditched him earlier. I bet he and the other cops got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Oh my! If it isn't Mr. Right all the time! Uh... It's all right to be wrong every now and again, right? Seen it? It just took a little while for the show to find its audience. <sighs> so what can I do for you? Did you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? How'd you know I put a whoopee cushion on the, on the chair? You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? <laughs> so, about Regina. Regina is such a pure innocent child are you sure mo we're talking about the same person because i'm pretty sure she was making sexual innuendos a bunch when we were talking to her i'm just saying i'm just saying she's such a cutie too Maya, you, you swing for the other team now? Didn't know that. Good on ya. She was born and raised in the circus, you know. But that means she doesn't really know, know much about the world outside the big top. Sounds like Pearly! For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. She sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown every day. The funny thing is, it all seems normal to her because it is her everyday life. Guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing. Or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply without complications. Have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Ah, yes! Money! He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after it. Huh? Why's that? Oh! I know! You don't want to get involved in any monkey business! Right? Exactly! Bravo! Bravo! A 
enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? I'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course. Shall we go? Hmm. Should we go with him now? Or wait a while? I think I've done everything that I kind of need to. So I think I can go with Mo right now. But before I do that, uh, I need some caffeine in me because I just need some caffeine in me. So I'm going to go grab a beverage real quick full of caffeine. And I'll be back in a second. No ad break for this one. Back. Let's go, Mo. Third floor. Acro's room? Who the fuck is Acro? Does he sell bikes? <sighs> this is it. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? I can't breathe. Don't be such a wimp. You only had to climb two flights of stairs. Anyways, this is the place, Acro's room. Acro? He's an acrobat. What a shock name. It seems like he's not around today. Huh? That's a big pile of junk over in the corner. I don't think it'd be wrong to assume that Phoenix's stuff is over there too. Just be careful to make sure you've got the right stuff. Thanks, Mo. See you later. Alright. <laughs> it's a monkey calendar. Whoever's in this room must really love monkeys. Maybe a little too much. Well, I just realized that the year is almost over. Amazing how time flies. That's convenient. That's very convenient right there. It's been one wild year, especially the last part. Can we just talk about how convenient this game is with their dialogue? Very weird. Well, 
We still got one last person to help this year, Max. We still got one last person to help this year, Max. There we go. This bed is incredibly well made. It's almost like a maid made it up. Even the laundry on top of the bed is folded perfectly. Nick, there's nothing unusual about that at all. It's how things are supposed to be. Can a man respect another man for doing something said man cannot do? You lift, Phoenix? Hmm. He's got a barbell. Look around. Everything he's got is up for is for upper body training. Wait a second. These are the same machines I see on TV all the time. Hey, Nick! What? I don't have this one! This barbell, here's a new model! Don't overdo it, Maya. You don't want to end up a muscle woman. Phoenix! Don't tell Maya how to live her life. If she wants to get toned and defined and get bulked up and get swole, let her get fucking swole. Phoenix over here trying to command Maya's life. Shame, Phoenix. Shame. So much shame. Hey! The net's ripped! Money must be prone to breaking things. He's horrible! Um... The net looks fine to me. You really think that he plays basketball? I think so. Monkeys live life about the ri above the rim, you know. You're joking, right? You think the monkey has got proverbial game? They just called this monkey the air bud of monkeys. Just want to point that out. He doesn't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. That monkey doesn't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. Well, a prehensive tail might be an unfair advantage. Holy cow! There's a fork and a mirror! Everything's shiny! There's even a really cheap looking knockoff wristwatch! Look at this! It's a trophy! And it's really heavy! Nick! I found it! Your badge! It's right here! There we go. Ernie's badge returned to its rightful spot on lapel. Thanks, you really saved me. Huh? What's the matter? Did you find something? Yeah, check this out. It's a ring! There's something engraved on it. From T to R. I can only think of one inanimate object that that could be from. Unless... What was Max Galactica's real name again? Didn't it start with a T? I think it did. I don't remember. Ring put in pocket. Yep. 
Okay, never mind. Don't give us his real name. Well, I think it's about time we wrap up our investigation. Do you think we'll win in court tomorrow? Who knows? Even I can't imagine what kind of testimony will come out tomorrow. Guessing Mo will be a witness in court tomorrow. Mo, and maybe the puppet. Don't worry, Nick. No matter what, we've still got a magician on our side. That's good, because we might need some magic tomorrow. Here we go. December 29th, 9.43 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, numero five. How you feeling, Max? You good? Good morning, Max. Max? M milk. If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just, I just can't function, sweetie. St stage? Don't worry, it won't be a stage. All you have to do is sit down. I guess. Nick, Max is really nervous. That's understandable. Hey, my sweeties. Well, what? You don't think I should fly, do you? Huh? You know, you gotta make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little. No, 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 no. We can't be having you flying around the courtroom. It just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit someone. Don't worry, Max. Just do what Nick says and everything will be a-okay. Okay, Sporna. Oh, sweetie. What is it? What is it this time, Max? Why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I can see it now. The dashing young lawyer flying fabulously in from above. One glimpse of that, and everyone in the room will be on your side. Max? Really? No one needs to fly today. This is a no-fly zone. Nick, what's with that look in your eyes? I like the sound of that. Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Yeah. yeah. I like that. December 29th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. Oh, there she is. What? Okay, now I gotta find my friend Shith, my friend Siska. Your Honor, get on with it. With it. There we go. Oh, sorry. I just realized that the, the defendant's name is Billy Bob Jones. Hey, Von Karma's still a sadist. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, well, isn't the defendant also known as Maximilian Galactica? Yes, your honor. He does often go by that name. You know, my grandchild is a huge fan of his. 
I think everyone here wouldn't mind if we called the defendant Maximilian Galactica. It sounds more friendly. Hmm. Wonder if that is to our advantage. Miss Von Kamm, your opening statement, if you please. I hope you don't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh... That spirit-channeling trial was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. It did not count. Do you hear me? She must still be upset about what happened last time. No, ho, ho, you might. I'm definitely putting this in my fanfic. Maximilian Galactica was in my courtroom. Yes, yes, totally. And he flew. He totally flew. Yes, yes, as far as everybody knew that actually happened. You have no chance. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I'm not losing this case. Why, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a von Karma to lose at anything. Whew. I guess being born with the name von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying. Watch and learn, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. M m me? Guilty? What are you talking about? It will be my ultimate revenge. But it's not like it'll bring her dad back. There. Opening statement complete. Now, let's hurry and wrap, wrap up this waste of time. Very well. You may call your first witness, your first witness, Miss Von Karma. Well, now she's got me doing it. Yeah, yeah, I saw that uh, Impact and AEW are at least doing a working relationship. Which, great for both of them. I just, I just don't think it's really going to help draw eyes to Impact. I feel bad for him. I just don't think it's going to help draw eyes. I think it'll draw eyes week one. I don't think it'll draw eyes next week. Detective Dick Gumshoe, get up there. Now. Sorry to keep you from work, as I'm sure, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, Detective. Think it benefits Impact more than AEW? Yeah, but I don't think people are gonna take the time to tune in to Impact. I think this week, this coming week, it'll have an effect because of Kenny. I don't think the next week it's gonna have as big of an effect. I think you'll see a big first week. And then you won't see much. Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. I've been looking forward to this. Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. All right, detective. You may proceed with your testimony. Dear Lord, you haven't watched since Aces and Ace versus Main Event Mafia? That's a long time ago. The night of the crime. Snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. All the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. 
practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. I see. He was beaten to death. Here is the autopsy report for the victim. The court accepts this into evidence. A blunt object. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Hey, Gumshoe. I will warn you, we probably won't be going too long today on this stream. Mainly because I can already feel myself not going to be able to make it very long. But along with that, we may stream twice tomorrow. I might try and see if I can uh, maybe do some Among Us late tomorrow. We'll see. Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and a half was on the ground. Snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Hmm. The snow. Let me see. There's got to be more to this. What's the matter? Me? I need to take a look at the court record. Mr. Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing on the night of the crime? When you say all of the circus performers, who do you mean? Everyone but the dancers and staff were there. Regina, the animal trainer, Mo the Clown, Ben the Ventriloquist. And of course the defendant, Maximilian Galactica, and his victim, the Ringmaster. Oh, I almost forgot. Regent the Tiger was there as well. Out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? I was investigating yesterday, he, he happened to snatch my wristwatch. Detective, you are welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? I'll be back in just a second. I'm not going to be long, I'm not even going to mute the mic. I was feeling kind of chilly, so I decided to get the flannel. Regina was playing with Regin, while Mo went back to his room tired from work. Ben the Ventriloquist went to the front gate absorbed in his own world. The Ringmaster and Max went off to the Ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately? That's an awfully suspicious. You wouldn't happen to know what they were talking about, would you? Seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Regina's hand in marriage. I'd 
like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10.15 p.m. Uh, um, okay. Not a problem, pal. We gotta witness the donuts out of all the hell. This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Hmm. All right. We'll just have to revisit that testimony later. Detective Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met his end? wooden box yes right the victim must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed carrying the box huh was a rather strange wooden box Yana what do you mean well was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention, it was lack. Locked you shit. Okay. This may be my only chance. Might as well ask some questions. Do you mind telling us what was inside the box? But when we found the box, it was locked tight in Fort Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it wide open. After all that was inside was this lead little bottle. Bottle? What is that, Detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a con It's a condiment bottle. What's inside the bottle? It's filled with pepper. Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that big box? There was only one little bottle in that huge box? I wonder if there is some sort of special meaning. Cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped the vertebrae in his neck. There wasn't much that we could go after Gumshoe with. There wasn't much that we could go after Gumshoe with this time. He gave us the facts as he saw them. There's gotta be more to this. I didn't see anything! That's why you're the lawyer and I'm the medium.
It just didn't say that it snapped a vertebra in his neck on the explanation, so that's the only reason I went with that. Always be, uh, always be scared of the trap game, man. Exactly, I need to go here. Hmm. I got a trap game against the land guy or ass kicked. And last year I had a trap game against the Jets and got our ass kicked. I mean, we'll see how you do. right Victor must have been carrying the one box when he was killed with a rather strange one box yeah, on it just don't want to lose to the winless team I get it I get it what do you mean well it was much heavier than it looked not to mention it was locked 
Yep. The uh, the Jags are officially out of playoff contention. Locked you shit. This may be my only chance. Might as well ask questions. One box. Figure it weighs about 20 pounds, right? Sounds about right. The whole thing is lined with iron. Iron plating. Why do you think it's lined with iron? Thanks for field sign. Yep. Yep. I think we could all do without your guesses, detective. Stick to a little you actually know. S -s Sorry. Suffice to say, the box is really heavy. Much better. You may continue on, detective. Done your homework, Val. You haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it is something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since you didn't find it on the sheet. No, no, no. I bet he made it disappear with magic. Damn it. Well, I think we have a good feel for the details of the event now. So that's all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe in this case. You mean all we're gonna get out of him is that little bottle of pepper? They're not gonna take Spencer Brown out of UAB. They're not that stupid. They may be stupid enough to take a punter in the third round. They're not stupid enough to take a fullback with the second pick. Now that we have wrapped up with the detective, I'd like to call my next witness. Eh, I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. I don't know, but wrapped up has such a mean sound to it. I'm a sensitive guy. Some shoes very sensitive. Thank you very much, Detective Gumshoe. You may step down. Miss Von Kama, call your next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. Must be talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I wonder if Trilla will show up on the stand as well. That's a yes. Please you state your name and occupation for the record? My name is Trilo Quist. I am employed as an operatic tenor. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, no, no, no Kalamon. I do not want him. No. Zach Wilson I'd be okay with. From what I've heard of him, I really got not see a lot of him. But from what I've heard, sounds like he could be the number two between him and Fields. But I want Fields more than anybody. The witness called to the stand was one Mr. Benjamin Woodman, ventriloquist. That robe must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was a singer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine. Race shoes with a song. Ahem. <clears throat> me, 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 me. The world of the law, exciting and daring, guilt or innocence. Decided by a judge dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think?
Trask is putting up a good argument as well. I don't like... I, I'm iffy on Trask. I'm iffy on Trask. I'm iffy if it's one good year. Very good river. It's just the lyrics. Leave something to be desired, so to speak. Tree to tree low. You know better than to insult a judge. Shut up. Just look at your nose. You would think you'd have the sense to fix it. It's so ugly, I want to punch you in the face on the off chance swelling would help. You know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an A-list star? Celebrities must really enjoy saying everything that flashes into their minds. What's going on here? Order! Order! Amanda know who the witness is. No to Jim Harbaugh, please and thank you. No to Jim Harbaugh. Don't, don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trilo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. I'm more, ow! You won't get anywhere trying to figure out this witness. Now, let's proceed. Once practice was over, left the tent with the stooge, I mean clown. Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went back to the plaza's entrance. That's when I saw Max and endured the scene of the crime. Max is wearing lipstick, though. He was the only one at it that way. How could that punk not be the killer? Then the police showed up and took Angry Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene. You're sure of that? With that a doubt. He had on his silk, his silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white roses on his chest. How can you mistake someone with the crazy get up and his nose stuck up so hard? So who's your number two pick for, number two pick for head coach? Because I know who your number one is. Uh... I'm trying to think of, like, the position coaches you can bring in. I mean, I wouldn't be against Josh McDaniels. I just don't trust him. But I wouldn't be against giving him a chance. I'm trying to think of who else. Um, who's the Colts defensive coordinator because I don't think that would be a bad hire with the way their defense played this year that's an interesting choice or Pittsburgh's defensive coordinator would also be an interesting one the, that's enough I think we all get the picture Matt Eberfluss? Really? That's their, uh... That's their DC, really? Hmm. I mean, their defense has been doing phenomenally this year. Just one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. Well, since you weren't with him, couldn't that mean... The clown committed the crime. Hmm. He's got a point. 
What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the culprit. What's that? He's absolute proof. Oh, show sure catch. This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. Want to take the Raiders D coordinator, please? No. No. Without question, he was wearing this signature hat during practice. The clown was or was the murderer. There would be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Hmm. Well done, Mish Von Kama. Prosecution skills are unrivaled. Well done. He's all up to tier three. I can't really make the Jags take uh, the Raiders DC, so. As much Jaren as I would love you to give me tier three sub. Can't really make him do it. I just want to point out, I know a person who could rival Von Karma's prosecution skills. An old man, they only speak about in legends. One half of the Tag Team Champions. Miles Edgeworth. Yeah. I don't want Paul G Gunther on the Raiders anymore. Physically hurts. Yeah, that's me with Todd Walsh. Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix Wright, what do you have to say? Oh, okay. I guess she's the boss again today. Once practice was over. The clown, you're talking about Mo. Of course I'm talking about that old fuck. He's so pathetic, I can't stand it. Just a little bit of ex exercise and his makeup is running all over the place. Once practice was over, he was nine-tenths of the way to kneeling over for good. Poor guy. We didn't have any choice, so Ben took him back to his room. Oh, Robert Sala. I'd be good with him, too. Forty ers are uh, now in Arizona. Now in Arizona for the uh, foreseeable future. When it comes to being a first place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack. Huh. Then what happened? Once we got to the lodge now, why the plaza's entrance? To do some thinking, of course. It was awfully cold out that night. Especially with all the snow around. Wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a better idea? Attention. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. But I'm a good thunker. At least my teachers always said I was. Holy. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure. You could use mistake. How could you use mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup? the wax out of your ears, warriors nowadays. You like talking to a brick wall. Max's three-piece get up. Jeez, could you be any more dense? All together now. Silk hat, cloak, white roses. 
Thank you. Nick, think you should put a little more effort into preparing your questions. Alright. I hate to do this, but literally my sleep de my sleep deprivation is starting to get to me. And I legitimately am like losing it. So I'm gonna have to take a nap right now. So sadly, this is when we're gonna have to call it close to the stream. I wanted to get another 15 minutes in, but I'm just going out of it right now. I apologize for a short stream today, but I'll try and make up for it tomorrow. We've got, of course, the Nuzlocke early. And I might try and see if we can get some Among Us in uh, late tomorrow. Probably around 9, 10 o'clock. Something around there. Uh, late tomorrow, we'll try and do some Among Us, maybe. Since it's Friday. But, I'm not sure. We'll see. Try and get it done. Very unsure how that's going to go. With that, though, I appreciate those of you that were here for the shorter stream. I'm sorry it was so short, but I'm going to take a nap real quick. And then I got to get some shit done. Uh, with that, thank you. I will see you guys. Wait for it. I clicked the wrong button. I'm just gonna point that out. And let me get the music going. We'll go back to this for the end. Why not? Why not? With that, I will see you guys next time.